All right, so I'll just explain to you like I'd be explaining in the video. This is our bleed down valve block and assembly components for the 87K pump. This is a flow water jet. You have a 87K pump, whether it's a 50 horse or a 100 horse, this is what your assembly is going to look like. We have our old components here. This one had a bad O-ring that failed. You'll see it here close up. That O-ring is distorted. And we have our new components here. We have the needle. We have the high pressure seal, the red O-ring, this brass backup ring. This piece, this piece. These do go in a specific direction. This block this direction. The way you know is you can take this adapter, it fits in this end, but it does not fit in this end. So orientate your parts correctly. Take some food grade lubricant. Lubricate these seals. They insert through this end. Now before you push the needle all the way through, you'll take this seat. We'll squeeze some blue lube on both surfaces. Nice, even, thin film on both sides. Place it in this end. And then finally, this little backup piece here. You can tell it has a little dish inside of it. It's what holds the seal, high pressure seal, in place. pushing together. Now, what I normally do is take this adapter, put some fresh blue lube on the threads, and I'll put some on the face. this in. This fitting torques to 175 foot-pounds. The best way to do that is clamp this body in a vise, soft jaw vise, and then torque this fitting. Next we'll put in the hydraulic adapter. Threaded in this end. This fitting also torques to 175 foot, foot pounds into this block. The best way to do that is to hold this in a soft jaw vise, torque this fitting. And you'll take that and install it back on the machine.